Hey guys, and welcome to another Monthly Favorites, which is a series I run on my channel where I gather stuff from both the anime community and the non-anime community and make out a list out of them. Yeah. <laughs> so like my previous um, Monthly Favorites, I would like to have started with an anime. However, for the month of September, I have had no chance to watch anime, both... Um, old and new because I have had no chance and no time basically because like school started so yeah and um, if you guys didn't know it's been a while since I went back to school and I'm basically sort of like cramming but not really but yes so instead of the an uh, favorite anime of the month I'm starting with favorite manga of the month so my favorite so my favorite manga of the month is uh, Shonen Ojo by... So the author for Shonen Ojo is um, Musashi no Zenko and Yukihiro Utako. So the story for this um, is, well, a girl and a boy meet and they look alike. And something happens to the girl um, and she also happens to be a princess. So now the boy has to cover for her and live for her as a girl. So, yeah. That's all I can say that's non-spoiler related. But yes, um, for the past, I think, 8-9 months, the manga stopped uh, coming out in the uh, scanlations because I believe the some like there were some issues with the author. Issues with the author and... I don't know. I don't know what happened. I actually completely forgot about it until I got an update like, Hey, Shonen Ojo was uh, updated. Wanna read? And I'm like, it's been a while. But yes, the art, this story is actually very good. Recommend, guys, to go check it out. Like the anime, uh, for the favorite books, I have had no chance to read as well. So I've got nothing to recommend you guys. For this month's favorite YouTuber, it's uh, Beth, aka Night Eyes Cosplay. Uh, she is. Uh, if you guys have seen um, my first ever monthly favorites, I featured uh, Nina as my favorite YouTuber back then, and she and uh, Beth are actually friends, and they're very adorable. Um, yeah, for the past month of September, I've been watching her old videos and her, like, current ones, and she's very adorable. She's, she's, she, like, she's a dork, and she's so cute, like, seriously. I know that, like, I know that she's been suffering for so long like she's been suffering so much things uh, with so much things and I admire her for the strength that uh, made her actually go through all this and come out even stronger so great job Beth for this month's favorite um, artist it's um, he's he's yeah he's a Filipino artist I discovered on I believe Facebook it's either Facebook or Instagram but um, my f the first his first art that I discovered was the Zapdos and Spark, sort of NSFW. Sort of NSFW um art where he wants to show his ding dong, and then Zapdos comes out. But yeah, he's he's very he's very adorable, and his arts are actually so gorgeous. I might actually feature some photos here, 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 in in my whole face over here. Some arts that can be shown on YouTube, obviously. Um, but I'll be leaving his links, both his adult version and PG thirteen versions down below. So you guys can check him out. So for this month's favorite uh, voice actor, um, he will be based off what I've been listening to lately instead of the animes I've been watching. Because if you've seen my previous monthly favorites, the voice actor, um, my favorite voice actor of the month is a character of the favorite anime of the month. But since I don't have an anime uh, right now, I would be basing off my likes already. So for this month's favorite uh, voice actor, it's Miyano Mamoru. To those who don't know, um, Mamo, uh, Miyano, is this adorable, very... I can't even describe him. He's so 2D. 4D? 2D or 4D, I don't know. He's such a um, a joke. Like, he's so cute. Very charismatic. Very good in voice acting. Has a very good voice. He's... Most of you guys might already know who he is. He's practically in every anime lately. 
But yeah, Miyano Mamoru. For this month's favorite game, I believe it's a game that most people would know by now. And it's the game Mystic Messenger. Here's a clip. Same sweet sound Picking on myself from the TV ring Wondering what's new What have I missed? I was offline Anyway, I'll end up hearing your story How are you doing today? Same questions every single day Please know that I'm not gonna ask you Your face lights off laughing from the jaws of night You will never guess that I am so But yes, Mystic Messenger is a um, Korean otome game and there are five people you can get, one of which is the same gender, so so one girl and four boys, uh, three of which are of the casual story and two are of the deeper story. So the deeper story means that there's more depth in their story than the three casual. So out of the five, I have uh, three. I have so I have Zen from the casual story, and I have Jum. I already did Jumin and the seven of the deep story. So now currently I'm doing uh Yu songs, and I'll be doing Jehi's last. For September's favorite song, it's a song I've been listening to every single day. It's uh, We Don't Talk Anymore by uh, Charlie Puth featuring uh, Selena Gomez. It's very nice. It's what I've been listening to when I'm listening to... Uh, well, It's what I've been listening to while I've been studying lately and on the train, uh, reading, going to sleep, doing my thing in the washroom. But yes, uh, it's a very good song. I think people would have act, most people would have heard it but yes go check that out for this month's favorite makeup it's uh, nyx's jumbo eye pencil in um milk it's the white version of the pink version i showed in the i will be showing in the september haul for this month's favorite cosplayer well, I mentioned her already a few a while ago, but it's uh, Nina. This time, uh, this time she's featured as my favorite um, cosplayer instead of favorite YouTuber. But yes, I will be linking her channel down below so you guys can check them out. Yeah, seriously, go check both Beth and Nina down below. They're I, they're very adorable friends. I swear, they're so dorky. I really love their dorkiness. But yeah. And finally, for this month's favorite fanfic, it's uh, "Make or Break" by Graham Cracker. Was it? Uh, pause. <laughs> Graham Cracker. So I'll be linking the fanfic down below. So the fanfic is from the um, Kuroko no Basket fandom, and if you guys did not know, Aokise. A uh, base. So yes, the story is about Aokise. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this very dorky video of mine. And I believe... I am so sorry it's pretty short because I, there were some segments that had no favorites in it. Because I have had just no time to like watch anime or read a book. Uh, though the manga is a, can pass because it's just released like... It's just one chapter, 24th, 40, 20, 30 pages. But a book is like, <laughs> will take at least a day for me, which can be used as a day for homework as well as anime. So, 
Yeah, I apologize for the lack of uh, recommendations this month. So once again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you like my video. Subscribe to my channel for more otaku-related videos. And remember to keep on shining. Bye!